all right guys uh welcome again it's so funny that uh we've been dealing with a lot of network issues since evening uh network has successfully wasted uh, more than one hour 30 minutes for us this evening but i'm really bent on doing this and uh, whatever is going to cost we'll get it done so maybe it takes switching from one um, network to another so we'll try to do that so uh, so please tell others to come online i think we are stable now hopefully tell is not going to disconnect us any longer so let's get started again so i would like to reintroduce myself my name is Ayoak Loton and uh, I'm the creative director of uh, Vegate Multimedia Studio. We are based in Okeho, your state. So, we are available here now. Let me see your hands up. Let me see your hands up. You are watching. Can you drop a comment? Please your comments so that you know that uh, you are watching and if you can hear me please let me know let me know once again i am dario akinoton and uh, i'm the creative director of brigade multimedia studio based here in okeho your state so this class is follow-up class from our previous theoretical class that we've had on our WhatsApp group. So we've been able to lay uh, some foundation for our lighting and uh, I want to use this practical demonstration this evening to show us some of the uh, theories that we've been able to establish in the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, Mr. Joseph, thank you. I can see you. It's like, uh, okay, you can hear me. Thank you. I hope it's clear as well. Okay. So, from the theoretical class, we've been able to identify some um, properties of light. We've been able to talk about how uh, light travels on a straight path, and if it is not um, deflected or def uh, de deflected, you continue to travel on a straight path. So, and that takes us to reflection and diffraction. Use diffraction through our source buses to change the speed of the light as well as the uh, momentum of the light. So, with our uh, bias, and we can reflect the light by reflectors, we able to see that in, the, in our theoretical class. As well, we've been able to talk about intensity and how it's affected by uh, distance. And that is inverse square your rule. But once you move your light by certain distance, you are not having, that is, you are not dividing the, the light power into two, but rather by four. So by the time you move the light away from the first position, that the uh, reducing the flash intensity, the light intensity by uh, four times, and uh, we've been able also be able to talk about uh, we've been able to talk about different types of light that we have. We've been able to identify two types of light as the uh, artificial light and ambient light, and we've been able to establish that ambient light are lights that are not brought to the scene by the photographer that you do not have direct control over so and be able to also to also be able also to establish that not all ambient lights are natural lights all natural lights are ambient lights so we've been able to establish those facts and uh, as well we've talked about our artificial lights by to have full control over all the lights that you have uh, 
as artificial light it could be your flash it could be your um continuous light it could be anything so in as long as that you are in direct control over the excuse me over the light so that is it that is an artificial light so this evening what i want us to do uh, is to demonstrate how uh, how you can uh, put all these things into into practice you can put these things into practice uh, this class is supposed to be a, a live studio session but i was able to find something more convenient than, than being in the studio at this particular time in in the evening so you can imagine if having a model kept in the evening till this time and the network is doing this to us so you can imagine how tiring that will be so instead of us being in the studio physically we'll be in the studio factually this evening and uh, to be in the studio factually thank god for technology there's an application that you can use to simulate studio environment and that application is called set a light 3d set a light 3d so with set a light 3d be able to practicalize everything we might likely want to do in the studio we able to show it here on our system so and uh, i'll be showing us some of the portraits i've shot in the past and we'll try to replicate the light here again in the uh, in the application so let me first of all display the uh, lights to sorry let me display the the uh, the pictures i selected for a few let me switch now to I hope you can see my screen now. Can you see my screen? If you can see it, please drop a comment. Let me know if you can see my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. So so I've selected these um, portraits for our experiment this evening. So this is a uh, portrait I shot for one of my guy, and this portrait I used three light setup, three light setup. I like three light setups a lot. So uh, for this particular shot, I did um, three light setup with different uh, modifiers. This one as well is three light setup, and but it's different from this one. It's also three. This one is also three light. Um, setup but it's actually different from the other one please if you can see my screen please let me know i want to be sure you are seeing what i'm what i'm displaying okay oh sorry all right okay i believe you can see it now you can see my screen now you can see it now so yeah this is the portrait i'm referring to so i shot this portrait for one of my guy and uh, so this is a three light setup i used to be lights for this particular um, image i used to the lights so for this next one as well i used three lights but the light here is different from the one here the modifiers I used here is different from the one I used here. And again, this is also a three light setup. This is a self portrait, a portrait of myself. And uh, this one is also different from this one. And it's also different from this one. But the three of them are actually three light setup. Yeah, all three light setup. But this one is different from this one. And this one is different from this one. And the basic difference in the three of them are the modifiers that I used. So this is actually this is also a three light setup. This is also a three light setup, and uh, is also different from this one and the rest as well. So I I told you that I love three light setups a lot. So I love three lights. 
this is, is a three light setup as well and this is two light setup this one is two light setup so we'll demonstrate it as well you see how the uh, i shot that's what i used this is also a three light setup this is also a th three light setup and is similar to this one to this particular one this one and uh, this one they are the same mm, let me put that way they are the same they are the same but all uh, with a little difference actually so you can see so this one is just one light setup this one is one light uh, setup this one is one light setup so having shown you uh, having shown you that uh let's now move back to our three uh, set the lights 3d so and let us see how we can factually create the scenes from the studio so we are going to start with this particular um, portrait so let me go now to a so this is the setup for for that particular um, shot that I just showed you. So once you open your three um, set the light 3D, this is the factual environment you are going to find yourself. So once you are uh, launching the application, it will first display a uh, page to you. Here it will ask you to to select the room size of your studio. We are from small to medium to large studio. But for this particular demonstration, I selected medium studio. So for a medium studio, we'll be uh, show, demonstrating the, the, the light. So you have the opportunity to, to move around in the studio, just like you are in your studio. You can move around you can see you can move things around you can come view from the side you can view from any angle from within the studio so you are not limited to a particular area you are viewing uh, studio setup so you can move and uh, you can zoom you can zoom you can zoom close and if you move like this so this can you can see the distance between the between the uh, model and the background you can see the distance between the model and the background and you can see the lights so this is the light setup for that um, portrait that i showed this particular one so this is the this is the setup that particular uh, so let let's explain it so now i use this um this type of uh, so let me explain again if you want to change any of the lights you can or you can click on it delete it just press delete on your keyboard it will disappear from there then you can from here you can pick any of the lights that you want to use so for this particular setup today in the studio when i showed that portrait i used these two um, small reflectors these 18 centimeter reflectors so one from coming from behind and the two coming from behind from each sides and one octave was directly in front of me in front of the model sorry directly in front of the model so you can see so let if you let's switch off the lights and then we can be able to see what effect they have on the on the portrait setting so once you click on the lights you see it will display the control for that particular light so we've switched everything off now and from our display here you can see we are not seeing anything again i've been displayed by the camera you can see the camera focal point uh, focus points so if I click, so let's put on the light. Let's start from the one uh, on the left here. So let's click on it. There it will display this button and then you can turn it on. So you can adjust the height. 
like this you can click on the arrow up and down like this to adjust the the light so you can click that and you can adjust the light here as well you can make sure that they are of the same distance you can see as you are increasing it you swing the the meters swing the meters so you can put them at the same at the same height you can put them at the same this is 2.2 so 2.2 as well but that doesn't really matter just make sure that you set the last so let's turn this one on as well okay you can see with the two lights coming from behind you can see what the image is already looking like so the these two lights from the from the back can be considered as the key lights the two lights from the back can be considered as the key light so why this one in front will only be used to fill the shadows and where's the shadow the shadow that is being that is now directly on the face so let's turn this one on now and see what we have now so you can see what we have now that is exactly what i did with that particular uh, picture let me show you again so you can see the the two side by side you can see you can see the highlight on the chin here on the other chin here and a little bit fill up on the on the face so you can see the highlight on the edges of the clothes as well just as we have it here as well so that is it so by practicing the lights on your uh on your factual studio here you'll be able to uh understand what you need to make a particular image when you get to the to to this to the real practical sense to this to, to your studio so you can see now we'll be able to demonstrate how i shot that particular uh, image so and everything within the studio it can can be configured you can change the model you can change the camera you can change the lighting so i think so if you get what i'm saying please drop a comment let me let me see if you are getting what i'm saying please drop a comment let me see let me know if you are getting what i'm saying so so that's the that's the life setup this life setup i used for that um, particular uh, uh, for that particular uh, portrait so let me move to the second image which is this one so for this one i told you is also three light setup but it's different from the uh, from the first one it is different from the first one so i will change my lights now to this setup i will change my model as well so you see the difference in the light setup so uh, let's let me start by changing the model to a female so let me change the model to a female let me use victoria so yeah welcome victoria <laughs> so, so and then let me change my light I, for that particular shot i have one light from the left hand side of the model here so i will change the uh, light uh, this the, the sort um the modifier sorry i'll change the modifier from this small reflector to this is what i use here it is um that should be 60 by 90 yes it is 60 by 90 sub boss coming from behind like that and then there is a, there's one octave boss here at my side and another octave boss here as well so i'm going to change the modifier on this one as well to another uh, octave boss so it's a very small octave boss 90 so and uh, i'm going to move back my i'll move the model to the back also a little bit 
so and let's not add back a little further let's change that post okay so this is just to demonstrate a uh, hair so this look a little bit like so this is the setup i used for that particular shot so and uh, the flash power here was actually up yes i increased it and it's coming from behind like that coming from behind here and that is why you can see it uh, you can see the light shining on the side here you can see the light shining on the side here and you can see it on the shoulder of the model here you can see it on the model on the, you can see it on the on the shoulder of the model here and at this side of the so you, if you consider the two here now you can see that we have similar light setup so that is exactly what i did for that particular uh, shot so you can change the power rate settings the any uh, you can just move around with it and uh, practice with it that is it so you can see so you can increase your flash power as much as you want you can see what it becomes uh -huh. so, and you can adjust the the angle you can adjust the angle so so this will give you the few you are likely to have when you put this same condition up in your studio when you put the same condition up in your studio this is going to give you the the look you are going to to have the result you are going to have when you put this same setup up in the studio so you can view the picture again so you can see it's quite similar to to each other so that is it that is for that so let's move to the third picture which is this so this one is different from this one at the same time is different from this one but only one thing is different here yeah so instead of the light coming behind here instead of this one instead of using sort box here i used this i used this 18 um 18 centimeter reflector here that is what i used so let me move my camera close and probably we can change our model as well since what we are demonstrating now is a male so so let's change victoria let's change victoria back to our guy so let's change Victoria back to our guy and let's change the pose as well so let's look for a sitting position a sitting position something like this and then Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, so and then you can move close. So, this is the only difference from the previous one and this and this one. This is just the difference. So, 
instead of uh, using salt box from behind there because I want the light to look hard on the on the uh, coming from the edge so that's what I did here you can see you can see the similarities you can see the light falling on this side and you can see it falling here as well and other area just being um, averagely or evenly illuminated so you can see that that is just it so we are still considering three three light uh, setup we are still considering three light setup that is exactly what i did for this particular um, portrait of myself so moving to the next one which is this i said this also is a three light setup but the setup for this one is different from what we've been having so let's try and set it up now and we see the result so let's change our model back from this guy to from jamal to can we use um army okay let's change it to army yeah so the lights here now will be placed directly in front of our model let me move the model to the let me move let me move it here like that so this light now is going to come directly behind the model and it's going to be perpendicular at the at back like this and then i'm going to change this one the modifier from that one to a very big uh yeah 150 180 180 umbrella so it's 180 umbrella and then we're going to So, let me Yeah, this umbrella, I think, uh, this one, they, they put uh, a kind of um, uh, diffuser inside of it. So, that is why it's not going to be giving us absolutely uh, white uh, background. So, and these two lights here are this octaboss as well. So, both of them, they are not as high as this. Uh, so, and... Uh, light is towards the model like that and then this one as well and they uh, are very close to the model like that so and I can move my camera towards the model like that so you can see that is exactly what I did so assuming that this um, this sort of that we are able to get on this um, uh, application here if there is no diffuser inside of it we should be having absolutely white background we should be having absolutely white uh, background that is it so i sometimes use this type of setup where i where i want to get pure white background and i don't want to use uh, and i want it to also i don't want it to cast any shadow 
from behind and stuff like that so instead of using the white background or stuff so i will just put the uh, sort box excuse me i'll just put the sort box directly behind the model since the umbrella is big you know and i'm just shooting portrait so i don't need the full figure so i'll just put the umbrella directly behind the, the model and i will illuminate the other size from uh, right and left so and it will give me this uh this result this is what i did for with this so it's also pretty light um, setup so pretty light setup and you can see the similarities in this one so like i said the other time you can practice with this application with different modifiers different light setups with different modes and see the result is going to give you even before you get into the studio to shoot at all and this will also guide you to know the type of modifiers you need to buy and what they will do for you so by the time you simulate it on this application you already know what each of these modifiers will do you do know what this each of them will do and you already practice with it uh, practice with it and by the time you want to decide on which modifier you are going to buy you already know what result you will be getting when you uh, pick a particular one so next one this image and this one i did it with two lights set up so let's try and simulate this one as well and see the third levels so let's go back to our um, studio and here okay. so i'm going to remove this one completely i don't need it any longer so then delete i already removed it so and this one is coming from behind like this and i'm going to change it from this one again back to our sort box here oh, sorry that small reflector 18 um, and uh, let's change our model's outfit as well so for that particular shot the model was wearing something similar to this that more similar to this Okay, I was wearing something similar to this, and, uh, and then we need to rotate our uh, we need to we need to rotate our. Let's see if we can control our head. So let me look at the image again. Okay. and let's go back uh, uh, so and then I let me reduce the power here so that's too much and uh, this one as well power there is too much so you can see that is the setup i used for this particular image you can see the light in the shadow falling under our chin you can see the shadow falling under our chin here you can see the lights on our back here and the same thing on our back here as well so it's practically the same thing so this is 
like uh, you are having the entire studio to yourself with all the necessary equipment you need to have. So this you can particular you can purchase a lot of light setups and see the results they will give you even before you go out at all to shoot. Even before you go out at all to shoot. It's easy to use, easy to install, install it on your system and you are good to go. It's practically easy to use. As you can see, so you can see the similarities between the two images that I, 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 I'm showing you now. And uh, again, to this one, this one is they're actually the same thing from the light setup I showed you for this one. It's the same thing. It's the same thing I did there. So same thing I should be wasting time again to demonstrate that it's the same thing that I did. This one, this one, and this one. It's basically the same thing. The only difference here is that instead of using octa bolts, I used rectangular uh, bolts here. So that's the only difference. I use rectangular, rectangular box for that particular one. So, for the sake of um, this tutorial, let's quickly, uh, let's quickly do it. Let's quickly do it. For this tutorial, okay. That's uh, and we needing a light. Needing a light at a back like this, and that light is going to be a big umbrella, it's going to be one of the biggest umbrella. Let's use this one quickly. Turn around, so it's going to be directly behind her like that, directly behind her, and we're going to need an extra light. From this side, so let's get the light on the stage. So to put a light on the stage, just double click it, so you can see that added it. So sorry, it's not the box I want to add. This one is small and tall. Here is um, sixty by ninety. Okay, so and then let me move my model here a bit and then this light should be coming from this and like that and like this. Let me change my model to to thick because I think thick part are here. Oh. So okay, that's good. So you can see that is just it. That is the that is what I did in this particular shot. That is that's what I did. So. You can see that you are having very similar, very similar result, very white background, and well, evenly illuminated um, figure. 